this is the beginning of part two of the book module video review. Now let's have a look at this from an end user point of view. I'm just going to open it and explore it. And I'm going to open the same page as it was there, the booking page. But this time I'm not logged in. I'm just a regular visitor to the website. So as a, a regular visitor, I can see that this time slot is unavailable. I don't see details because again, it's not it, the details of the appointment belong to the site owner. I mean, only a site owner, site administrator can see that. But I can see that this time slot is not available. So if I click on the 26th and try daily view, if I scroll, let me see, let me, let me click on show 24 hours. Okay, so I can see that, well, 4 a.m., yeah, it would be hard to be available. Anyway, but I can see that this time slot is taken. It's not available because somebody else has requested that and the admin has um, confirmed the appointment. Now, as a regular user, if I want to request an appointment, I can just click the time slot that I want and I can click request appointment right here. So I can, again, say type of appointment that I want. This is a test, so I can put more information here. My full name, again, I'm not logged in, so it does not grab my username automatically because, again, I'm not logged in. So let's put it here, and that's my phone. And again, email is important, and it, and it is required as well. So once this is all done, I am requesting 4 to 5 a.m. And so you can just save, click save. Anything happen here? Okay. Your appointment request has been successfully submitted. If I go back to home, my appointed my appointment will not be there yet because the admin, the site admin, has not confirmed yet. Now, if I flip back to admin view, if I click here on my booking module, I'll be able to see that there is a there is a request that was made which is pending right now. And I can say that I can I, I can say that I accept or decline. So let's accept that. When accepting an email goes back to the client saying that the appointment was accepted. If I flip back here to the end user view, if I refresh I can see that there are two time slots taken here. If I see the daily view, click on 24 hours as I record that at 4 a.m. Uh, so I can see that both time slots are taken. Now, maybe you don't want to open the appointment booking to all users. Maybe you want to restrict that to certain users. Maybe you have a, a, a group of users called clients and you want to restrict just to those users. So. From the admin point of view, what you can do is you could go to settings, module settings, and from here, you can go to book settings, which is already there. So I can, I can specify, the first option actually says role which can submit requests for appointments. Right now, it's checked as all users. If I, I can say that only subscribers or clients so in our case, we don't have clients here. So let's select subscribers, which will be pretty much any user that has a, that has logged into the website. So if I click update, now with that done, I should no longer be able to book an appointment without being logged in. Now it's just gave me a validation here, maximum, minimum appointment. Okay, let me just put something here so this can move on. Okay. I'll go back to those sets in a second. Now, if I flip back to the calendar, to the booking view as a regular user, if I refresh this, I should no longer be able to book an appointment without being logged in. So if I select 26, I have a look at daily view. And if I click, you see, I no longer see the 
request an appointment option that I used to see the little balloon that I used to see below. It's no longer here because only only subscribers, only registered users will be able to do that. Now let's explore a little bit more the settings of the admin settings of this module. So if we go here back to settings, module settings, and we flip, actually yeah, we go to book settings, we can see a few other options. Let me explore a little bit this one here. Appointment request notifications, email addresses. addresses. Uh, so if we want to email people, maybe the administrator or maybe the dentist or maybe whoever, uh, if we want to email them after request, for an appointment is submitted, then we can just list their emails here, separated by semicolon, if I'm not mistaken. Well, there's a help here somewhere. Comma delimited. Okay, so it's a comma delimited. So if we need multiple people to receive notifications, we can just put all their emails separated by common. Um, and a a all of them will receive a notification after the request is done, is made. What else we have here? We have some additional, some more granular settings, how many appointments it would display per day, per page. There's a default appointment duration, which is which comes with uh, 30 minutes, uh, minimum appointment duration, maximum appointment duration, and maximum number of appointments per time slot, even though I've tried to use this. Well, I guess that's Different people can, can book at the same time. Not sure, I haven't tried that one here. But the one that I did try was this one that says select calendar skin. So the module comes with a, uh, a nice set of different uh, look and feel uh, di of different skins for that particular, for their module. So let's just explore those a little bit here. Let's select this forest. Let's click update and let's have a look how it will look like. Okay, you have it refreshed here. As you can see, it has a different theme applied to it. You can go back there. And I'm sure that if we go to the file, to the to the site files, we would be able to create a new skin. Actually, have, let's have a quick look there. Actually, I just had a look. I didn't see it that being that easy. So let's just leave it at that for now. So again, those are the pre-loaded skin options that we have to choose from when using the booking module. Let's just try another one here. Click update and let's check it out. Okay, and we have a new look. So hopefully one of those uh, themes will match your, your website. And the last thing that I want to cover is that under manage you have uh, there is an option that says export data which will allow you to export all this information out of dotnet look out of the database to an excel spreadsheet so we can put the time frame and click export data we i'll just open this just reduce it a little bit to fit the screen and so here's how it's showing up the different columns and that's how you can export the information. So this is it. This is how the booking module from Engage works. It's again, nice, clean, very clean look, I mean, very nice looking module, and very simple, very easy to use. And if you want to give it a try, if you want to test this module, you can download it from, it's now covered for free for 30 day trial. Or you can actually come to try.netlook.com, create your site there, and you will be able to give it a try in this module as I have installed this module there as well. The only thing is that it's a 30 days trial and most likely by the end of October, our copy, our trial copy will be gone. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get one from Engage so we can leave a, a demo here as well. Anyway, that's it. That's uh uh, the end of uh, the module review booking from Engage. Thank you very much and bye for now.